And now batting Josh Reddick. And the starter remains out there despite just allowing the long ball. We thought maybe they'd go and get him, but no indication of that yet. Yeah, to me, that home run was a sign that he's starting to get a little bit tired out there. It was a good pitch to hit, and it's typically the command that starts slipping when you're fatiguing a little bit. So I can't see him being out there much longer. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. So they get... Digging in and looking for more, Gary Sanchez. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, digging for two. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Man, that's got the sting for the pitcher and his teammates. They just get on the board and are feeling good about themselves, looking for a shutdown inning so that they can get some more runs on the board. But instead, this guy blasts a leadoff double, getting that. Hang on, this is hit deep into right center. This looks to have enough, and it does a home run. So it's a two-run shot to right center. Eighth home run on the season for him, and it's now an 8-7 ball game. In now, Miguel Andujar. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Didn't look to me like that was much of a protect swing with two strikes. No, he was trying to go yard, two strikes or not. Kind of looks bad if you strike out like he did, though. I'm sure his manager would have liked for him to focus on getting on base. Weak grounder down the first baseline. And that's the second out. Now that Next will be the cleanup hitter, Cal Ripken. He singled his last time up. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. See, guys, he is human. Occasionally an ugly swing right there. But he's having a monster season, so I'm going to give him a free pass. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. It's two runs here on two hits. One of them being the home run. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The Astros on top, 8-7. Two balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Had to sit back on the changeup and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Trying to strike him out for the third time. And he misses again as the command is definitely letting him down now. It's ball four. So a runner at first now with one away and digging into bat next the Cuban import Yuri Gurriel down the first baseline. Oh and this is past him down the line a fair ball. Alvarez isn't stopping here he comes to the plate. He comes across to score as they extend their lead to two. Dan that's a huge insurance run right there has to feel good as a hitter right there to not only get a ribby knock, but to give your team a little bit of breathing room. It, it does, and it makes your pitcher go out there with a little bit more free and easy. Ladies and gentlemen, you're at... No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Guriel, the runner at second with one away. 
Three balls and a strike to Houston's left fielder. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And a fastball misses there. Ball four. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Busted him inside on a 3-1 count. The Yelp thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind in a count like that, though. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches, too. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base no via the base Double on ball. ball. Striding in for Houston, Go Carlos right Correa. Now. A hit in two tries so far. Two and two the count. From the stretch. Oh, and he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate with the fastball as he back. Ryan Presley has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Torres will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. Skied into straightaway right. Therefore, it is the Gold Glover Reddick, and he's got it one away. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. No hits for him yet in the game, despite his team's offensive onslaught. Now the one and one pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. Well, this one's been a bit of a head scratcher despite their home run production today. Yeah, Matty, this is one of those that you kind of scratch your head and you go, wow, you hit the ball all the ballpark, but still not enough offense. It just goes to show you this sport is still, Dero, all about pitching. It is. It's, it, it begins and ends on that bump right there. And there's just so many facets to the game defense, base running. It's just not the team that hits the most home runs is going to win the ball. And he'll pull into second with one away. And this, of course, is a ballpark that yields a lot of doubles as we take a look at the team leaders for the most two base hits this year. And in fact, that number is not only the highest in all the American League, but is actually the highest in all of baseball. So now to the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. And it's fouled away. He'll try again, one, two. The swing, and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. Gone! A long two-run homer off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton, number 22 on the year, as it's now a one-run ball game. Into the box now, Luke Voigt. Swing and a long drive again. This one to deep center. Gone! They've tied the game on back-to-back -back home runs. So it's a solo shot to dead center, and we are tied again. Peacock gets the call as he'll pitch with one gone in the top of the